Thank you, Tom. Now let's take a look at a couple of features that help with the administration of Distribution Engine. So the first is our expansion to custom permissions where you can now create personas. So you remember in our Llama release, we introduced custom permissions. So allowing for team manager roles to be defined that allow access to certain parts of the application, but not others. In Meerkat, we now allow for multiple, multiple sets of permissions to be defined and assigned within Distribution Engine to allow for different users to have different types of access to the application. So if, for example, you're working across several lines of business, you might have team manager roles that need access to different things. And that's where our concept of personas comes in. So a persona is a grouping of custom permissions, and we can have up to 10 of these personas. So you may have one set of permissions for your sales team and one set for your support teams. And with these, they can then only access their own teams, but have their own set of permissions as well. So let's have a look at this in the app. So let's start here on the distribution settings page where you'll see here on the left, we have a section for custom permissions where we can add personas and then assign them to individuals or groups of users via the persona assignment page. So we have this concept of personas and these are just a collection of custom permissions. Each persona can have many users assigned while each user can be assigned to one persona only. And there is also a default or fallback persona, which kicks in on upgrades where settings you've already got for the custom team manager will be converted to this default persona. So this is our new personas page where we can create personas. We can also manage them, clone them, rename them and delete them. So let's start by adding a new persona. And let's call this Team Manager. Click the Add Persona button here. And it will take us to a very familiar page from our Llama release, which allows you to define custom permissions for this new Team Manager persona. So you can adjust those as required. And then click Save. Now, if you're wondering how you assign users to personas, we have a, another page called Persona Assignment here, which allows anyone with a custom team manager role to be assigned to a single persona. So for Bruce here, we can choose which persona to assign them to. So let's pick the new team manager and click save and that's updated immediately and then instead of looking up to the first set of custom permissions we're looking up to their new set of custom permissions as they navigate the app and that's all there is to setting up multiple personas each with their own set of custom permissions So to recap, our previous release introduced the ability to set up a custom team manager permission set. In this release, we have extended this, allowing the capability to set up multiple personas, each with their own permissions. Any custom permissions already set up will automatically migrate to your default persona.